Put your hands together for Dr. Brown. I just want you to understand that you are part of making history today. And what happens in the city of Charlotte can literally spread around the country. Friends, when Roe v. Wade, the infamous decision of the Supreme Court, when that became, quote, the law of the land in 1973, it was all over. The sentiments of the nation were increasingly pro-abortion. The sexual revolution had already brought about radical changes. The pro-life movement was shattered and discouraged. I was a new believer then. I don't even remember even talking about it. We weren't even conscious in most of the church as to what had happened. But there has been a remnant of a remnant. Faithful men and women who for decades have served. When we didn't even know it, when we were sound asleep in our beds and they were in front of abortion clinics and they were being spat on and they were being arrested, we're standing on their shoulders today. Listen, there are numerous states now, it's growing in America, where there's only one abortion clinic in the entire state. The latest stats from the Centers of Disease Control say abortion is now down 20% in America. The younger generation is more pro-life than the older generation. And, and, and our critics and those on the other side, they say, you're on the wrong side of history. I said, listen, I don't care about history. I don't want to be on the wrong side of God. That's the issue. And if we're on the right side of God, we will see history change. Jesus said to us, to you and to me, you are the salt of the earth. We are the moral conscience of the society. You are the light of the world. When I go into a dark room, I don't curse the darkness. I say, where is the light? Let your light shine. And I just want you to look over to my right. We're live streaming to hundreds of thousands on Facebook right now. I want you to look over to my right. Dylan, just wave it, folks. I want you to look there. I want you to send an invitation to Christians around the nation, to Christians around the world. I want you to shout out, come join us. Come join us. This can happen in your city. And friends, right here, this is still the remnant of the remnant. This is still the beginning of building the wall. I want to encourage each of you, before this day is out, draw up a list with five names on it. Five people that are not here today that you believe should be here the next time around. That you believe should get involved in a weekly basis with Love Life Charlotte, the other ministries here. There is something for everybody to do. Friends, let's make history today in Charlotte. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Thank you for all you do for advancing the kingdom, brother. Got to leave right now. And uh, literally heading to the airport uh, to fly to India. It's about 40 hours of travel from here. But you can hear what's happening in the background. Uh, something historic, something historic is going on. All right, hey, pray for us. Heading to India, we'll be giving you updates from there. And an amazing day, history in the making. God bless you.